Madam Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, um, tonight I'm evaluating a B1, an icebreaker, um, and what I'm trying to do in this evaluation, which will be a mini speech in itself hopefully, is to provide some constructive help to the speaker, give advice where appropriate, and I've split it into three. I'm going to talk about the subject, the preparation, and the delivery of the speech. Um, so, uh, before I do that, I'd just like to say I'd like the speaker to move on, please, to B2. I, I really enjoyed the speech, so just get that out of the way first. Do please move on. I really enjoyed it. Um, just a few sort of uh, hopefully constructive points for the speaker. Um, the first thing that we look at is the purpose of the speech and, and was it achieved? And I think, yes, in this case, the purpose to me was get to know the new person coming up here. And yes, I think the speech really did achieve that. And I think the material was really well chosen as well. And I thought actually it was a really good way of introducing yourself. I think the speaker actually found a very good way of going through those eight points without sort of saying, you know, I was born in 1960 or whatever or something and moving through. I thought it was a really good way of actually, you know, introducing yourself by choosing various topics. So in terms of the subject, I thought, yes, the material was very well chosen and your speech achieved what it set out to do. So moving on to the preparation, um, I was I was looking at the speaker's use of notes in this, and I thought it was really it was really really good. There were no apparent sort of looks down at notes. There were you know there were there were obvious notes, and there was a you know they, they were there, but it wasn't over apparent. It wasn't distracting. So I thought it was a good use of notes in that case. Um, in terms of speech construction, um, looking at how the speech was delivered and how it was how it was made up. Sorry, not how it was delivered. This construction of the speech. What we're looking at here are things like opening, a logical development, and then a memorable conclusion. Um, I, the, I've written down here, was there an arresting opening? And I guess I must say, no, I don't think there was really an arresting opening. Um, it was, to me, it was slightly low key, um, and it sort of, it launched into it a bit, and I was thinking, oh, you started, rather than an arresting opening. Um, in terms of logical development, yes, there was a very logical development. You were, you were very clear, the speaker was very clear at the beginning, this is what I'm going to do, and it did follow that all the way through. Um, and I alternated between thinking, is this, is this too clear cut? Is it too, uh, you know, sort of step one, step two, step three? And, that, and there's obviously different views on that, and it's, it's just something to think about. I hadn't heard a speech quite like that before, when at the beginning somebody says, I'm going to do this, 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 and this, and then does exactly this, 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 and this. <laughs> um, but I, I think it worked. I think it worked. It's just a different model of speech construction. I thought the memorable conclusion, I thought that was quite risky of the, speecher to, the speaker to actually end with a question. And I think the speaker got away with it, but it was quite a, a risky ending, I think. And in a way, I think that perhaps tailed off a little bit as well, and perhaps... Um, you know, you could have sort of been met with stony silence, you wouldn't hear, but you could have been. So I, th I think it, it was quite a risky, a risky ending. I think it worked overall, um, but I just think there's, there's things to think about there. Um, just moving on to the delivery of the speech, um, I've written down here, confidence, a very calm approach coming up here, very calm, very relaxed, a real pleasure to listen to the speaker actually. Um, I mean, I could have listened for a lot more, a really, a really sort of nice, relaxed delivery. Um, audibility and enunciation, yes I could hear every single word. Um, the speaker's voice wasn't particularly loud but it didn't need to be particularly loud and it was a very nice voice, it was a very audible and clear voice. Um, so I think, you know, it was, it was very good and a very nice slow pitch, a very nice, sorry, slow pace, a very nice, sort of nice delivery overall I thought. Um, plenty of eye contact with the audience, plenty of audience engagement. Uh, questions to engage the audience and I think there was a lot of audience rapport going on there so I, I think that was all very good. A few gestures, um, it wasn't a gesture speech but there were a few gestures going on there as well. Um, and I thought the humour was very nicely done as well. I think it was very sort of low-key, nice, nice humour. Not overdone, not overblown but it, it was a nice, a nice use of humour in that. Um, I've got here a choice of words and word pictures, which is moving on to, to future speeches. And I think the thing that struck me most was, was the words that the speaker used around the hate section. They were very, very strong words and very intense words there. And I, and I can particularly remember all the words around, around, around the hate section, much more than the other sections. So. 
Um, so I think actually going on to the next speech, which is mean what you say, I think, you know, particularly around the hate section, you clearly meant what you said around the hate <laughs> section. So, so overall, I would, I would definitely say move on to your V2. It was a very enjoyable speech. I really enjoyed it. It achieved the objectives, um, which was getting to know you, coming up here, and it, it showed a very confident and relaxed delivery. Very enjoyable. So well done. Please move on to your V2.